Hi, welcome to the 27th Hammer tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on importing custom sounds into your map file. So, what I have here is just a song that I downloaded off YouTube. And a handy website for downloading songs off YouTube is video2mp3.net. You just put in the URL and get the song. That's where a lot of people get songs from if they don't feel like using LimeWire or something else. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to browse to your game directory go into the sound folder and I usually create a folder for every project that I work on it helps me stay organized so I'm gonna create one just called test and I'm just going to put my song in there now sometimes you might get an error that says it's not the right bitrate or something and in this case you want to use audacity and to use audacity for this you just put your song into audacity you just drag it on there and then you go to file I mean and you click right there and you go to set rate and you want 44100HZ and then you just wanna export it as an mp3 but you will need the lame audio codecs for that and the lame mp3 audio codecs I'll put links in the sidebar to where you can get those programs and then you just wanna load up hammer And load up your map that you want to use. I'm just going to load heal. And then once inside your map, you want to create an entity. And you want this to be an ambient generic. And now the sound file will be played from the, the origin of this item, unless you change some settings around. We'll go over these settings right now. So, press Alt Enter on it, and you'll see you have some basic things like the name. You have to name it, so we're going to name this sound. Now you need the sound name, so you click Browse. And normally it'll look like this with game sounds, and it'll come up with all the sounds. You want to click Sound Type Raw. And then you just usually want to browse for your folder. So I'm just going to browse for test. And then there it is, test narwhals. If you preview it, it won't it won't play the song because you can't preview it. I don't know why that is, but just how it is. So, and then you can change your volume. Zero is nothing and 10 is the loudest. You have dynamic presets for what kind of effects you want on it start volume fade in and fade out time pitch and the pitch that it starts at and the max audible distance is a good thing it's also represented by this yellow circle here you can make it bigger or smaller and this is of course how far away people can hear it and then the source entity name if you don't want the sound to come from the ambient generic itself you can specify an entity for it to come from if you specify nothing, it'll come from the ambient generic. And under flags, we have a couple things here. Play everywhere. This makes it play everywhere. You can always hear it. It'll be coming out of your left and right channels. It'll come out of all channels because it's everywhere. Start silent, you want on. Unless you want it to start playing at the beginning of the route. Most people just want a trigger on it so they can specify when it's played. And you want to keep is not looped check because you cannot loop in mp3 in counter-strike now of course you want to have something to trigger it so it's gonna do a search for button you know, make a quick button text a uh, quick button here and now that we have our button made you want to go to Control T and Funk button. We're going to go over a little bit of input output for this. And we're going to make it so you can stop it and play it again from the beginning. A lot of people have trouble with this because it's kind of difficult to do. So I'm going to make the button be a toggle so it'll turn it off and then on. And to do this, you just have when you press unpressed button lock and then unlock pressed button unlock. Now it's a toggle button. It'll fire two different commands whenever you tell it to. So you want unpressed, 
and be a generic play sound. Now that'll make it play the sound. Now we want to have something to stop it. So we want unlock use sound and then I do stop sound copy and paste it and then I put volume to zero at zero I'm at point zero two and then also on pressed you also want volume to be at ten point zero two and now you can stop it and play it whenever you want I'm gonna compile this and then I'll see you in Counter-Strike so now we're in Counter-Strike we have my button here and the source entity of the sound is approximately right there so we're just gonna play this and there's our song and if we press it again it'll shut off and if we press it again it'll turn back on from the beginning so this has just been my short tutorial on how to get custom sounds into Counter-Strike Source and other Source Engine games. If you have any questions or want to know how to do something else with this, send me a C message or post a comment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Cause they are so awesome No walls, no walls Swimming in the ocean Pretty big and pretty wide to be the polar bear in a fight Like an underwater unicorn They've got a kick out facial harm They're the Jedi on the sea They stop Kafula waiting me